All right, I want to further my figure studies. I drew these images up. These were one minute poses at Life Studio. And I drew them up in charcoal. You can see some of the lines in here. And I brought them back and then I went over the lines with black acrylic painting with a small brush. So I let that dry, which didn't take very long. Acrylics dry real fast. But now we're going to paint it with oil paints. So what I have here is, I'm going to use three brushes on this. I'll start with the biggest one. This is a 12 flat. This is an 8 flat, but it's really pretty short. Um, usually the flats are a little bit longer. And then I have a 2 flat, which I'll use. And I'll use them probably in the order that how they are is big. I have some odorless mineral, mineral spirits, some dirty water just to help clean the brushes. I have some clean odorless turpentine and I have some little bit of uh, linseed oil right here. Just to help as, uh, just to mix and these paintings are a little bit stiff. They're cheap paintings or student grade as you want to call them. Uh, cadmium yellow light, cadmium red light, this no, oh, this is cadmium yellow pale, sorry, and cerulean blue, titanium white, and two, two piles here, one for the blue and one for the yellow and the reds I'm going to mix. All right, and then I have a palette knife that I'll just use to mix this stuff, and somewhere I have some paper towels. Alright, so first thing I do is I'm going to get my my orange made up. Let me get this out of the way just in case it's in your way. And it's usually, I don't know what I'm mixing about, maybe two to one, the red takes over the yellow. Especially in the student grade paints, the yellow doesn't really seem to be very strong. So this makes kind of an orange, but if you get it too yellowish, once I mix it, start mixing with the blue, it's going to automatically turn green. So I want to get it where when I do mix it with the blue, that it's going to hold that. It makes such a really nice gray. All right, so let's put some white in this mix and see. I can tell better what kind of out, and maybe I have it too orange. But what I'll do is now I'll mix a little bit of the blue in with this lightened orange. Just bring a little bit over here to the side and then work it in a little bit. And you can see if it's going to turn. If it's too yellow, it'll turn green real fast. So that's turning into a nice gray right now. And once I have the gray, it's a little bit on the green side. If you want to get it back, just tap a little bit of red in there and that'll take the green down into a gray. But don't mix your grays up too much, otherwise then you'll get that muddy stuff. That's why I don't use earth tones when I paint these figures. All right, so now I'm gonna bring in just a little bit of white in here and you probably can't see how I really like that mix right now. Now with the mix, now I can go back and I can grab just a little red and if I want to go to the red side of the gray or I take just a tap of the yellow, I can take to the yellow side of the gray. So now I have two really nice grays, one's red based and one's yellow based. And then, of course, I didn't mix enough, but I will be in a minute. I just want to take the time to show you what I'll be doing so I don't have to talk about it every time. And now I'll mix a little bit of gray with the blue base. And they're all in about the medium. This is a little bit darker in here. Let's go ahead and mix the rest of that in there. But I'll start with the darks. So I don't like to go, I know a lot of people paint they say start with the very darks and then get all your shading in. The problem with these, this painting here is that I'll have no reference point. 
meaning that I drew these at studio and I don't know where the light and shade falls. These were only one minute poses so I didn't really have time to sketch any kind of shading in there. Just wanted to get the proportions and some of the body outlined. That's all you can do with one minute poses. But they're great to practice the paint on. Like this is just on newsprint. And this is good practice for you to just to paint with. On newsprint you don't have a whole lot invested. Use your student grade paints and go with it from there. Now what I'll do is I'm going to tap this in just to loosen these paints up. Just a little bit of turpentine, just a touch of the linseed oil, just to loosen these paints up. I want this a little more blue. That's almost a little bit too dark. So now I have to make the decisions on where the light is going to come from. So let's just, I'm going to say it's going to be coming from the back right here. So I'm going to lay in some blue paint here so like the light's going to come down on them from a little bit behind them. So I'll make those decisions and I'm going to start scratching in. Don't put it on real thick here because you're going to be blending it in with the rest of the with the lighter colors here in a minute. A little bit too stiff there now. But don't get it real loose because with newsprint you'll ruin you'll go too deep into the painting. Now I'm going to get sloppier. I was taking my time just to show you, but now we'll see if we can really start to get a little bit more crazy here. Thinking the light's coming in this way more from about the 2 o'clock position, but in the rear behind these guys somewhat. So we're going to have a little bit of outline there. So we're trying to make these our values so that we're going to make it look like they're round and not so flat. Don't put a whole lot in. You're going to go over this with the whites. And Keep running out. I'm mix, not mixing enough paint in here. We'll have it a little bit more blue then. Usually if you do the head here, that'll give you a really good idea where the light's coming from. See, now it's coming in here. And, uh, of course, it's going to cast shadow in here somewhere. And, over here. Probably going to be pretty dark right in here too. It's a really nice color there I got going. It's a little greener down here. On the neck. Let's do a little bit here in this crevice where the Arms are right in here in the pelvic area. Just good practice for you to do little paintings like this. You don't have that much invested, but it sure helps you start to see the figure and do something with your 